Alright, welcome to another example of mod arg form of a complex number and its applications. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. If z equals 1 plus root 3i times 1 plus i, express z in Cartesian form. Okay, let's just do one before we look at the other parts. Alright, so part one. Express it in Cartesian form. So remember, Cartesian form is x plus iy. Okay, so all we've got to do is just expand this out, which is fairly simple. So that'll be 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times i is i, root 3i times 1 is root 3i, and root 3i times i is root 3i squared, which is minus root 3. Okay, and we collect real and imaginary parts, and we get this, factor out the i. Right, so that's our... Cartesian form for z. Okay, the next part. By expressing 1 plus root 3i and 1 plus i in mod arg form, show that z equals root 8 cis of 7 pi on 12. Okay, so let's have a look at first getting these into mod arg form. Alright, so mod arg form, we need the modulus and the argument, obviously. So let's have a look at the modulus of this complex number. So that's the real part squared plus the imaginary part squared, and we square root that. Okay, so it's going to be the square root of 1 squared, which is 1, plus root 3 squared, which is 3. Right, so this is root 4, which is 2. Alright, and 1 plus i, oh, we also need to get the argument, can't, can't forget that. So 1 plus root 3i, and I like to just see which quadrant it's in. So for this one, 1 plus root 3i is somewhere here, right? So it doesn't have to be a very precise sketch, just for you to see which quadrant it's in. So therefore we can work out the argument by using 10 inverse of the imaginary part, which is root 3, over the real part, which is 1. And this is 10 inverse of root 3, which is 60, or pi on 3 radians. Alright, let's move that to the side for a moment. Okay, now we need to look at 1 plus i. So, let's have a look at the modulus of 1 plus i. That's going to be the square root of the real part squared plus the imaginary part squared. So the real part squared is 1 squared, which is 1. The imaginary part squared is also 1 squared, which is 1. And so we have root 2. Alright, let's have a look at arg of 1 plus i, right, and this one's also in the first quadrant, okay, so we're going to have 10 inverse of 1 over 1, which is 45 degrees, or pi on 4 radians, okay, so therefore we have 1 plus root 3i, that's equal to the modulus 2 cis of the argument, which is pi on 3. And 1 plus i, maybe write it here, and 1 plus i is equal to root 2 cis of the argument pi on 4. Okay, so let's have a look at what the question wants after that. So now we need to show that z is equal to this. So z was just the product of the two numbers, but now we can use our product in mod arg form, and this is what we get. So z equals 2 cis pi on 3, so that's one of them, times the other one, root 2 cis pi on 4. Okay, so when we multiply in mod arg form, we multiply the moduli, so that'll be 2 root 2, and we add the arguments, cis of pi on 3 plus pi on 4. Okay, now 2 root 2, that's equivalent to root 8. And when we add this, we're going to get 3 pi plus 4 pi will be 7 pi on 12. Okay, and that's what we wanted to show, right? So we've shown this bit here. Alright, now... 
question says hence find exact values of cos 7 pi on 12 sine 7 pi on 12 and tan 7 pi on 12. so the question has hence which indicates to us that we need to use the previous two parts to do it so let's have a look at what we've done we've worked out what z is in cartesian form and we've also worked out what z is in mod arg form so let's write down what we have we can equate these two parts so from the first one from part one we have that okay so from i and double i this is what we have we had z and in cartesian form it was equal to 1 minus root 3 plus i into 1 plus root 3 so that's from i and we also had that z equals root 8 cis of 7 pi on 12 right from double i okay so now we can equate these two because they're both equal to z so therefore we have root 8 now what cis well cis is just an abbreviation of cos plus i sine so let's write it in this form cos plus i sine 7 pi on 12 equals now this is equal to the cartesian form 1 minus root 3 plus i into 1 plus root 3 Okay, so the question asks us to find the exact values of cos 7 pi on 12, sine pi on 12, and tan pi on 12. Well, you should notice that we have cos 7 pi on 12 and sine 7 pi on 12 here. So the trick here is to equate the real and imaginary parts. Remember, complex numbers, two complex numbers are equal if and only if their real parts are equal and their imaginary parts are equal. So since these two are equal, that means their real parts are equal and their imaginary parts are equal. So this is a perfectly valid thing to do. Okay, so what's the real part? So when we have a look at the real parts, we're going to get... It's going to be root 8 times cos 7 pi on 12. So we have root 8 cos 7 pi on 12 and the real part here is 1 minus root 3 and so therefore cos of 7 pi on 12 equals 1 minus root 3 over root 8 okay now let's have a look at the imaginary part well that's going to be root 8 times sine 7 pi on 12 so we're going to have root 8 sine 7 pi over 12. That's going to be equal to, the imaginary part here is 1 plus root 3. Okay, and so we're going to get sine of 7 pi on 12 equal to 1 plus root 3 over root 8. Okay, so we have cos and sine. Now we need to work out what tan is. Well, you'll see that there's no tan here, so we can't equate anything to get to tan. But remember, tan is just sine on cos. So tan of 7 pi on 12 will be sine 7 pi on 12 divided by cos 7 pi over 12. Okay? So that's going to be sine of 7 pi on 12 is 1 plus root 3 on root 8, all divided by 1 minus root 3 over root 8. Okay, and that's going to be, these root 8s will cancel here, and we're going to get 1 plus root 3 over 1 minus root 3, and that's our final answer for 10 of 7 pi on 12. Okay, so the trick was to recognize that we can equate the real and imaginary parts because we have two different expressions for our complex number z. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the video and more videos will be coming in the future. Thank you.